Stickball is what they call poor man's baseball. It's originated in the boroughs of New York. They block down the streets. If they can't, they don't have parks, you know, they just shut down the block, take their mom's broomstick, get a rubber ball, and start playing. The bat is really small. It's usually like a dowel or like a broomstick. The ball is like a rubber handball. You pitch to yourself. Four bases, first, second, third, and home, just like baseball. Three outs, Brandon, a seven inning game. The biggest difference, you only get one swing. You get three pitches, but one swing. Self-pitch, and it's not as easy as it looks. This, this is not an easy game to play, because you're not playing it on a, a nice uh, grassy field or asphalt field. You've got all kinds of obstacles on the street. You have to develop good awareness of where you're at. The reason why we play in Little Italy is because the street is wider. It's a one-way street, and there's buildings because that's how they played it in New York. This makes for the perfect stickball environment. If it hits, you know, a, a stump or a tree, it's playable. If it hits a car, hopefully it doesn't hit a car, but if it does, it's playable. Um, off a person, it's playable. So everything's pretty much live. Stickball gained popularity in the 1900s, primarily in Philadelphia, New York. Needing only a stick and a ball, inner city kids were able to play with friends for more than just bragging rights. We played in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and actually the late 40s. Uh, Sick ball was actually played in the streets, and we played for money. It was very competitive. We didn't have leagues and things of that sort. Basically, you had neighborhood teams that competed against each other, and the better teams would play for lots of money. 300, 500, over $1,000 a game. It was borough to borough, so it was the Italians versus the Puerto Ricans or the African Americans or the white community and they would play each other and so eventually over time they got a whole boulevard which is called Stickball Boulevard. Stickball Boulevard is located in New York City's South Bronx. Originally Newman Avenue, the street was renamed in the 1980s to honor the game's impact on the community. For Bobby Ortiz, the only proper way to introduce the sport to San Diegans was to take a team to the mecca of stickball. Originally, the guys from New York who play in the stickball league in New York moved to San Diego. I'm the one that introduced the game here to individuals that didn't know what stickball meant. When Stickball Boulevard developed, I said, you know what, maybe I can take a team there one day. So oh, it, took, it took me a while. So in, uh, in 1997, I, I finally had enough guys that, that were interested. So I took my first team in 1997 to New York City to Stickball Boulevard. Uh, once I took the guys there, they fell in love with the game. And they brought it back here. They got together and they started the first tournament here in 1999. So this year is the 20th year that we've had a tournament, a stickball tournament in San Diego. When I left New York, I thought I would never play stickball again. It's now evolved into this and it's still growing. Every Labor Day in Little Italy, teams compete for the stickball title, a trophy and cash prize. But this year, they decided to do something a little differently. Usually there's a cash prize, right? Uh, you get the trophy, you get bragging rights. We were gonna do a cash prize in San Diego, but we also, we started our nonprofit, which is called Strike Out for a Cause. As opposed to giving a cash prize to the team this year, I decided to give it to a family in need. So this morning, at the opening ceremony, that $1,000 cash prize to the team, I singled out a family that was in need and I gave them the money. Our goal is to pay it forward while we play it forward. Watching these athletes compete, it becomes clear that stickball has an impact beyond its concrete fields. This game is, is amazing, I love it. I stopped going to church to play stickball. We always come out here, this is basically like my eighth year out here and it's just, a beautiful experience, the memories I have every time I come out here, it's just amazing. I wouldn't pick a better place than San Diego to come and play stick ball. This is my first year not playing. It's time for me to sit back and let the younger generation do what we did, keep it going. The best part is probably the camaraderie, the bonding that you meet, these people, you know, from different cities, you know, the relationships you create, the people you meet, all walks of life, but they all come together to enjoy one game, which is stick ball. I think, uh, like any sport, when people you know enjoy something and get good at it, they develop a sense of pride. The family that enjoys it and the people, there's a sense of camaraderie like we had in the old days. The best part of the day is actually just being here. After the games, we all hang out. Um, it's not just a game, it's a tradition. So um, we're all here, you know, having fun. We travel all this way across from the East Coast and we ju we're just here for a good time. And then all the luck, I mean, I'm screaming at everybody, but it's all luck. We still come out to support the tournament, to see the older generation that taught us the game that we love, and to try and pass down what they taught us to the younger generation. 
this this game has brought me so many memories. I, I'm not, I don't I don't want to cry. This is what it's about, like just the fun and even seeing my son back for me just. I love this game so much.